So what does FOCUS mean? What does that stand for? Uh, <laughs> sure. <laughs> FOCUS originally uh, was the name um, of the program that we work with, and it stood for Families um, children. of Children Under Stress. Okay. And then they decided to make it something a little bit less... Um, less stressful of a name right. <laughs> and to make it more about the the comfort and the fun and the hope that the organization um, wants to provide and so they just narrowed it down to focus okay mm -hmm. well that's a good idea you don't necessarily want those those negative words yeah, in there, right, so it's right. just focus yeah. now and what what just briefly what do you guys do well, we recently um, combined with Fragile Kids as well. Mm -hmm. So um, Fragile Kids actually provides grants and an equipment swap mm -hmm. for um, children and families and special needs adults to help them get equipment um, because a lot of times it's not funded by insurance. It's too early right. for your insurance to pay for it and it's all private pay. So people donate equipment, then they, you know, you go and pick up equipment and they even give um, grants for equipment, wheelchairs, walkers, mm -hmm. uh, special adaptive bikes. Um, they give grants for the van lifts. So that's our fragile kid side. Mm -hmm. And in our focus side, they're really involved in the community. Um, Sandra and I, we run a share group for mm -hmm. special needs parents um, right here in Villarica. We may move it to Douglas, but right in this General West right. area. Um, there's other groups around the Metro Atlanta area. Do you know how many? There's at least five or six others, yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, and then um, in addition to that, they do uh, they do different camps. They do summer camps um, for the kids, adults, because so they have like a ki one for children, one for teens. Mm -hmm. um, they also do a family camp twice a year. They do um, different. The educational conferences. Yeah, they do that. The conferences in January. Sometimes they have one in the fall as well. Um, we also do family camps where the entire family comes in. Mm -hmm. We do the zoo, aquarium, all these different things. Six Flags. Mm -hmm. We love Six Flags. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then what it is is that we all we get discounts for this. Mm -hmm. You know, between, between donations, grants, and funding, we get discounts for it. So it makes it more affordable, and it's for the parent and the family, okay. the parents and family. And then for people that may not be able to afford it, they also offer um, scholarships for them as well okay. to enjoy these different activities and a lot of times they open them up early for us so we went to the aquarium cool. and they actually opened it um, an hour and a half early for us to come and we always eat we uh -huh. We eat at our share groups. Uh, we we it's all about the food. Yes. <laughs> we eat at our the conferences. We eat at conferences. Mm -hmm. um, Chick Fil A is a big sponsor. Uh -huh. um, we eat at the zoo, and we don't just sit down and eat. We get a whole banquet area nice. um, at the aquarium, so it's really uh -huh. nice. Well, that's a great segue because today we are going to be cooking and eating, and we'll yes. talk more about you guys and get familiar with what you do, what you do in the community. Uh, what opportunities there might be for some of the people who are watching some of our citizens to volunteer or donate those types of things so Wonderful. now this show is all about the food right <laughs> yes and you guys have no idea what what we're cooking right now no, right? no. <laughs> okay. so what we have done here is we have our our ingredients cloaked with what we call the Beach towel of deception. Oh, okay. okay. So I'm going to reveal this, let you have a look at the ingredients, and you can try to guess what we're cooking today. Okay. You ready? Yeah, ready. Here we go. See if I can get it off without knocking anything over. All right. Oh. Check it out. Mm. Are we doing some kind of... Um, was, Alfredo? Yeah, that's what I was thinking of chicken Alfredo, but there's no Quinoa, noodles. Though. Yeah. Here, let me turn this around. Y'all come back over here. Let me let me, okay. let me show Alfredo you what we got here. With some kind of quinoa instead of noodles. What's under here? A gluten free Salt. Alfredo. Well, nice not gluten nice. dish flour. Oh, now, wow. there are going to be two recipes. Mm -hmm. Two recipes. Oh, okay. um, and what we try to do is we sort of match up what we cook with the organization that's on. Sometimes we'll play off the name, mm -hmm. and sometimes we just kind of play off of the uh, 
the environment of the group or that type of thing. And in, in you, you guys' case, what we decided to do is since we're working with families with special needs, children, young adults, that type of thing, um, they're busy. Yes, we are. They are busy. <laughs> Very. <laughs> so especially during the week, you know, uh, I know every family's busy during the week, but there are special uh, considerations that have to be taken. So what we decided to do was recipes that are very easy to do from scratch even during the week. Oh, okay. So awesome. the first recipe is chicken fried chicken. Mm. Oh, okay. It's, it, I, I did it the other night and it was very quick. Uh, and then the other recipe is garlic mushroom quinoa. Oh, that sounds delicious. And it is very quick as well. And these recipes can, can be done at the same time. We won't be doing them at the same time so that we can kind of show what we're doing. Okay. But they can be done at the same time. Okay. Uh, so they're very quick. They're very tasty. Uh, and when we come back, we're going to learn more about you guys. And we are going to start the garlic mushroom quinoa. Yummy. Wow. Sounds good. <laughs> We are back. We are going to cook this garlic mushroom quinoa. All right. Oh, wait. <laughs> now, before before we started filming, I went ahead and threw the quinoa on the stove behind us. Okay. It has to simmer for about 15 minutes, and we're looking at about 14 minutes left. While that's going, over here, we're going to prepare the garlic and mushrooms. Okay. We're also going to add some thyme, some salt, and pepper. Mm, okay. All right. So we're going to prepare the mushrooms first. Who wants to do the cutting? I can. Yeah. Sure. All right, so swap places. Uh, just slice them. Take the stem off, put it in the trash bowl, and then, uh, yeah, just thin slices. Okay. As thin as you want to go. And while she's doing that, if you want to tell us a little bit more about Focus. Okay. So we do have some events coming up. Um, we do a, what's called a booby <laughs> nice. for a Halloween uh, party that's coming up on Saturday. Um, we also do a mom's day out. We do two mom's day out, actually. Um, all moms, no kids, no husbands. Uh, <laughs> the dads get their, their Later day. On. Yeah. Okay. But the first day out that we do, we've had that already, and it's um, we all bring chocolate. And we nice. do, we have different um, speakers, and it's normally things like aromatherapy. Uh -huh. um, they talk about that. They talk about, um, they do manicures, they do um, massages, yoga. Mm -hmm. And then the other one that we're having at, coming up this month um, is on Lake Lanier. So okay. once a year, we uh, there's someone that sponsors a yacht for us. Oh, wow. And it's a potluck, and we bring food, and um, it's just a bunch of moms on a hanging out, awesome. we chilling, having fun. Lake boat. That's awesome. <laughs> um, other things we have, we have a teen and young adult swimming program. Mm -hmm. um, so in that, I think that's in Atlanta. Yes. Is that in Atlanta? It is in Atlanta. Yeah, so that's for teens and young adults. Um, they have their own activities as well okay. um, to keep them going. Uh, we also, we have the zoo. Did that come up yet? I uh, yes, it did. I think it's in November. Mm -hmm. It's the zoo okay. is in November. Oh, well, I guess okay. yeah. Yeah, sure. um, they're doing a day out at the zoo, mm -hmm. um, and then in December we always have a Christmas party. Nice. So that's an annual thing that we do. So it sounds like you guys are doing a lot of stuff. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Constantly all year round. Yes, they do. They try to do something all year round. And with the Christmas party, they have Santa, and then they get a little gift. Mm -hmm. So it's, you know, and everybody from all over, all our share groups and everything, they actually come mm -hmm. to that. So you get to see everyone. How do people get involved with this organization? Um, Focus is um, a, an organization that is in Atlanta, um, off of Shambly, isn't it? Sh presidential. Presidential, yeah, yeah okay. Shambly area. Um, that's the where the main that's office. That's where the main office is. But we have share groups, um, like we're a part of, that are local to the different areas. Like there's one, I think, in McDonough. There's the one here, okay. and there's they're in different Marietta. places. Oh, like Marietta. 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 Right, yeah. and those are the ones where the moms we get together, we meet, we talk. We um, most of them meet at Chick Fil A or some kind of breakfast place like that. Starbucks. And so we, food, food, yes, food. Yep. Everything has to be centered around food. And so we get together, we eat, we chat, we share our um, 
our joys and our troubles and we are there to support each other. Mm -hmm. um, and then the main office of focus, that's where they um, organize all these events that they do. They um, also do a lot of um, conferences for parents and um, moments where they talk about like things that are important to us like IEPs, um, the now comp waivers, um, the Katie Beckett guardianship, things like mm -hmm. that. And so they do little mini conferences where they talk about these right. different topics. Because a lot so, of that are, is like laws and that kind yes. of stuff that changes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So anybody that wants to get involved with Focus, the website for Focus is focus-ga.org. Mm -hmm. And um, their phone number is 770-234-9111. Mm -hmm. Got it. Got mm -hmm. it. And you can read it down here. So uh, write that down if you need that information. Thank and you. you can sign up online. There's a, what's the link? Um, it's it's the same link, the focus-ga.org, and then on there, right at the first page you see, it'll say parent intake form. Mm -hmm. You fill out that form, and it's just basic information like your name, phone number, your child's um, age, and their diagnosis, and then a member of Focus will call you and um, just get a little bit more information and find out where to um, best direct you as far as like if there's a share group in your area that they can point you to, or if there's any meetings that are coming up that would be of interest to you, they can point you in that direction as well. Yeah. And then That's you'll, great. you'll also get a weekly email on Mondays if you sign up there and it'll tell you everything that's going on. Okay. Um, around, you know, all the events coming up, how to register for them. Mm -hmm. And uh, a lot of it, then the share groups are completely free. You know, okay. we provide the right. breakfast. There's no fees for that. And dads are welcome too. Okay. We don't see a lot of dads. No. No. <laughs> but they are, are welcome. welcome. <laughs> So. I'm surprised with the free food. I mean, right. I don't know. I'd if be they, all they in. must not know about the free food. Yeah. <laughs> Mom's not telling them. Right. <laughs> Mom's trying to keep that club to herself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that smells good already. Yeah. Mm. You know, you put garlic in, in uh, the saute pan and oh, yeah, it, it just comes delicious. alive. Mm -hmm. So, what's going to happen from this point is uh, just going to add a little bit of salt and pepper. The quinoa is simmering behind us. As soon as it gets done, we will just add it to the saucepan over here, or the saute pan rather, and we'll be done okay. with the, the garlic quinoa, oh, garlic right. mushroom quinoa. So what I'll do, you know, we'll have a little bit of time we'll have to take to do the chicken fried chicken. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'll put this into a nice bakeware dish, put it in the oven to keep warm. Okay. So everything will come out. Uh, warm and tasty and ready to eat oh, because that chicken fried chicken you don't want to sit it too long you want to eat that when it's hot right. okay. mm -hmm. and we got a white gravy that's going to be on the top <laughs> mm. wow. can't wait can't wait can't sounds can't wait. delicious so when we come back we'll have the quinoa already ready we'll start on the chicken fried chicken and we'll talk more but with these ladies about focus we'll be right back It looks like I have made a complete mess here, right? <laughs> yeah. So what I did was I had uh, some chicken breasts. They, it, they called it chicken cutlets, but it really wasn't. So what I did was I put it in a freezer bag, each piece, and kind of mashed it down with this. Took out some aggression on the chicken. <laughs> That's not, I was, you got to kind of get into it a little bit. That's good for a special needs parent. Yes, got stress <laughs> relief. Yes, so what we have to do now is we have to get our dredging station ready. Now, it will go into a liquid and then into a flour-based concoction on this side. So okay. I will get you guys to kind of get these ready for me. I'll read out what we need, okay. uh, and then I'll do the dirty work of actually dredging the chicken and putting it into our oil, our All pan. Right. All right, so for the... Uh, liquid right here mm -hmm. we're going to need it says a, a cup of whole milk but you can just put uh you know a decent amount in there you don't have to be exact with it that good that's right good there? right there we need an egg one egg and then that's all we're going to need in the uh, liquid side I'm going to pour some uh, flour in here. It says about three quarters of a cup. But again, you can kind of eyeball it. It doesn't have to be exact. 
another way to sort of save time. Mm -hmm. And we need some cornstarch. We need a quarter of a cup, so we need about a, just kind of shake a little in there. A little bit more, a little more, perfect. Awesome. Uh, we need a, a pinch of kosher salt. That's teamwork right there. Mm -hmm. let's, let's, go, let's go some more than yeah. that. <laughs> See, we can do a little bit uh, heavier seasoning in here because you're only going to get a little bit on, on, on each right, piece. Right, right. Yeah. We can do a little bit of black pepper. Yeah. We'll do dried oregano. That looks great. Awesome. Some garlic powder. You want to come be my assistant in the kitchen? <laughs> <laughs> a little Good. bit of cayenne pepper. Ooh, yummy. <laughs> that we don't have to put a whole lot in. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then for me, I like a little paprika. Yes. Yeah. So you added the paprika? Yes. Okay. The recipe didn't call for it, but I, I like it. Anyway, so. <laughs> Whenever there's garlic, paprika is pretty good. Yes. All right, so we've got a fork here. If you'll whisk that up a little bit, get that egg broken up and incorporated. Get the cornstarch and the flour and all the seasonings done over here. And once you get this part done, it goes pretty quick. You want to have a, a plate or something ready once you bring the chicken out of the oil. We're going to cook about six to eight minutes aside. Okay. Once, once it turns nice and golden brown, you know it's done. And since these pieces of chicken are relatively thin, mm -hmm. it, it doesn't take as long. Okay. All right, so we'll start with this one. And we may have to do a couple batches since these pieces are very large. I do have a big pan, but it may not take all of it. This can be a messy process, but it makes it fun. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine our kids. Oh, I know. <laughs> Getting into the flour, so yes. much fun. I like that it's quick, like yes. half of it is already done. Yep. And it's healthy. Mm-hmm. We're not deep frying over here, mm -hmm. so you're not incorporating as much of the mm -hmm. oil as you might do if you're deep frying. Yeah. Right? So if you're going to fry, that's probably the way to do it. Yeah. It's almost like sauteing. Mm-hmm. Mm. And most of these ingredients you have in the house. Yeah. yeah. That's the other good thing. Yep. And you don't have to put every single one of them that, that I have put in there. Mm -hmm. Or you can add your own. Mm -hmm. Customize it. Yeah, I think we're going to be able to get three pieces in there. And then we'll have two more to do. Let me see if I can find a smaller one. I know there's one on the bottom that's smaller. And then we'll do the two big ones last. And while I'm cooking these up, why don't you guys tell me, tell the people at home about how Focus came into existence and kind of the uh, the incorporation of fragile fragile kids? Yes, fragile, fragile kids. kids. Mm -hmm. So um, Focus started in 1983. It was um, two kids that happened to be in the hospital at the same time, mm -hmm. uh, medically fragile children, and they shared a room. Okay. And the parents of these two children uh, became fast friends and um, started being a support to each other and okay. sharing information back and forth. And that was the beginning of Focus. They started um, the, the organization from there. Um, and it was originally, like we had said, called Families with Children um, Under Stress. Mm -hmm. And then they evolved to just being Focus. Um, the organization works with uh, families that are children that are medically fragile and um, and children that are special needs. Mm -hmm. They um, and then fragile kids works with just medically fragile children, yeah. getting them like equipment, like um, Charisma was saying, um, grants for 
things that insurance, government, or private don't normally fund. They were started in 1991. Uh -huh. um, Focus works primarily just in the um, local Atlanta area and covers children usually up to the age of 21. Mm -hmm. But uh, Fragile Kids does the whole state, so they will provide grants for kids throughout the state of Georgia, not just at the Atlanta area. And they usually cover children up until the age of 30. Mm -hmm. um, and they, the organizations came together, they've been referral partners to each other for mm -hmm. about 25 years. Right. So Focus would refer kids to frag or people to Fragile Kids if there was something they couldn't provide and vice versa. Mm -hmm. And then in 2017, um, after many years of talking about possibly coming together and doing a merger, they finally got lawyers involved and mm -hmm. did all this. Um, made it official. M yes, made it official. And so in 2017, they merged and became Focus and Fragile Kids. And so now the organizations um, have been able to pull together the funds that they have because neither one of these organizations are government funded. Mm -hmm. All of the money that they get is from sponsors, from grants and um, donations. Mm -hmm. So it is a, a very big deal. If you're looking for an organization to partner with and donate to, Focus would absolutely love to have your um, your sponsorship. And, and how tax again, deductible. How, again <laughs> how could they do that? Do yeah. they go to your website? Yes, they would go to the Focus website, okay. focus-ga.org, and um, there is a, a donation button on there. Yeah. Isn't that? Yes. Mm -hmm. And if you have any questions about where the money goes or how it's being used or whatever, you can always call the Focus office and they could explain that to you as well. Um, and they can talk to you more about what your donation is actually going toward. But, um, but yeah, so the, the two joined in, in 2017, and so it's a pretty new merger. Mm -hmm. The hope is that eventually um, they'll get to where both organizations are able to cover children in all of Georgia and up until the age of 30. But right now mm -hmm. there's still the, the restrictions on focus being just more locally, right. but our share group is one of the newer ones, mm -hmm. and this is part of that expansion of them, you know, branching out, is that they're starting to branch out outside of the metro Atlanta area and moving on into um, areas a little bit outside, so like the right. Paulding, Hiram, Douglas, mm -hmm. Villarica area, yeah. And one of, one of the people with Focus um, on the board, um, Lucy, she was saying how we're, she, we remind her a lot, our, our West Georgia group, of the original group okay. of parents. Um, we're very close-knit, you know, we talk, we laugh, we cry together, mm -hmm. we go out, we do, um, not only do we, you know, sit at Chick-fil-A and talk, but we do different activities in the community as well. Mm -hmm. So we've done um, a painting night um, we're going to do a Christmas party. We have different people come out to our groups. For example, um, what's the name of the person I have coming next month? <laughs> um, Freedom Concepts. Freedom Concepts. They provide um, bicycles okay. to um, special needs kids, adaptive awesome. bicycles. They have grants. Um, we had um, the Douglas County Parent Mentor come out and speak with us last month. And then some months we just get together and talk. So it's a lot going on with the West Georgia group. Right, um, right now we meet on the second Fridays um, at the Chick-fil-A in Villa Rica. Okay. But our group has grown so much. <laughs> uh, we got so we're actually one of the larger groups, even though this is what our second year? Yeah, just the second. Or just year. our mm -hmm. second year. We're one of the larger groups. So a lot of groups may have five, six members. We're up to like ten pushing fifteen members. Nice. So we're kind of taking over Chick-fil-A. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so and it's busy already. <laughs> so. Right. Right. They're wonderful to us. Yeah, Justin is wonderful. Yeah. Yes. Yep. But we're kind of taking We've actually over. filmed with Justin. <laughs> really? We have yeah. at his house. We made sausage from scratch. Oh, wow. Yeah. We love Justin. Yeah, he's great. So we'll probably move Hey, to Justin. <laughs> hey. Thank you so much. Shout out. <laughs> yes. So we'll probably move to a new location. It'll still be within Douglas, Carroll, mm -hmm. um, somewhere that's quickly accessible. But by January, that's the goal to have somewhere, you know, we'll still feed you. But somewhere that's a little bigger um, that we can have more people come out. Okay. That's great. I mean, you guys are kind of doing a little bit of everything in the community. And it's, it's almost like a one-stop shop for these families who are in need. It is. It's, it's, a, it's a group that will give you support. Um, emotionally, but we'll also be able to refer you if you need the financial support or 
um, you know, any type of um, equipment, things like that, we're able to at least refer you to right. somebody that can help you right. with that. So. That's great. Yeah. Well, we're sizzling away over here. We uh, fl I flipped the chicken. Uh, we're going to cook the other side. We'll do our other two pieces. And then after that, we're actually going to make a white gravy to go on top yeah. of this oh, chicken. Wow. So yeah. we're going to start that as soon as we come back. It's time to make some gravy, some awesome. white gravy for this chicken fried chicken. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, all I have to do is melt a quarter stick of butter, quarter cup of butter, butter a uh, quarter cup of flour, we'll go into that, make a roux, and then we'll slowly add a little bit of milk, two and a half cups, and that's basically it. Then oh, you can okay. season it. Okay. You wanna kinda thicken it up a little bit uh, with the heat and a little bit of time. Uh, not the seasoning, <laughs> the amount. Uh, <laughs> so while I'm doing that, it's a very simple process, while I'm doing that, why don't you get, tell uh, the people at home, kind of how you got involved with Focus individually. Okay. Um, well, I, um, I, my son, he has cerebral palsy and autism and some other diagnoses, but when he wasn't diagnosed at birth, like um, most people, mo most kids with cerebral palsy are, um, it was a bit of a roundabout <laughs> to right, find out right. about his diagnosis. And one place we went was the Marcus Autism Center. Okay. And that was where um, they told me about Focus. So I, you know, looked into it, looked online to find out what it was about. And they had their annual conference in January. And I attended their annual conference. At that conference, you have a lot of physicians that speak, a lot of um, neurologists, orthopedics, Mm -hmm. um, autism specialists, they do a lot of speaking and that's actually where I met some of the best physicians to, uh -huh. <laughs> you know, get my child set up with. So that's actually how I um, got in with Focus and I, you know, they gave me all this information and I just loved it so much. They had all these different things. At the time, my son was maybe two. I didn't really know what was going on. I didn't know what I was doing yeah. um, and I didn't know that there, I tell people it's a new normal that you have to find, and yeah. I didn't know what my new normal was. Mm -hmm. um, by profession, I'm in. Uh, I'm a medical professional. Uh -huh. um, however, I didn't work with children. I worked with elderly <laughs> adults. So I didn't really know what to do, and no one around me had special kids, special right. needs kids. So um, I really found a home with Focus. I, you know, I started going to meetings. Well, not meetings because they were further away until Sandra came along and brought uh, one out here. But I would try a meeting or two in Marietta, and I started going to some of the activities. Started making good friends. Some of my best friends I've met through a Focus event, uh -huh. um, and they've really just become like family. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, I, um, Luke was, Luke is my child with special needs, he's five, he has Down syndrome. I also have a seven year old, Jacob. And Luke was hospitalized because he had a heart condition when he was born, mm -hmm. which is very common in kids with Down syndrome. And in one of the hospitalizations, Focus actually was coming through and doing visits for the kids and bringing um, gifts to the kids and then some chocolate for the moms because, uh -huh. you know, any woman loves chocolate food. and when you're going through a stressful food. situation, they got you with food. chocolate is, you know, <laughs> awesome. Yeah, food. <laughs> so they, um, they came by, they gave us a brochure on it, they told us about the organization. And it was um, in January also at the conference. I went to that conference and I just fell in love with the, the concept of, of the group and, mm -hmm. and the organization and what they were doing. And um, I found out about the share groups that they did, but of course there wasn't one local to us. And I kind of, you know, thought about it in my head for a little bit about, you know, doing one out here, but it was a time commitment mm -hmm. on my part that I, I did not have the time at, at the moment. But right. um, after Luke had his surgery and, you know, things started getting better, I contacted Focus and I asked them, you know, what would it take to get a group out this way? And we started that um, in November? Mm -hmm. Yeah, November, November two years ago. Two years ago. And we're also, 
um, and trying to see if we can even get other things out here, like a focus on moms, maybe a dad's day, and uh -huh. maybe, maybe even camp out here. So the better, the more we get the word out about right. focus, the more people that start to get involved, then that's when we can get things like a special needs camp out here because we don't have a lot um, in the West Georgia area for special needs families. Right. So. Well, that's what we're trying to do with this show. Mm -hmm. Hopefully right, a lot of people it. will watch. Uh, this can get shared all around. Make sure you share it with your friends. Yes, please. We want to get the word out. Uh, it sounds like you guys are, you're not just members of, of the group, but you're also vested members. You, yes. you have a passion. And, uh, and I was going to ask you, did you, at the beginning, and you too, at the beginning of your your uh, adventures, basically, uh, did you feel alone? Oh, gosh, yes. yes. Very alone. <laughs> Very alone. Yes. Seems like it'd be pretty scary. Yes. That's probably one of the one of the, the scariest things when um, when you get a, a diagnosis of a special needs for your child is that sensation of being alone. You don't, especially if you don't know other people who have special needs children, which I did not, mm -hmm. you do. You feel alone, you feel isolated, um, and your friends, as much as they love you and want to get it, they don't. They don't. Yeah. They don't. Mm -hmm. And so it, it takes another special needs mom to get the struggles and to get the just every day yeah. of, of what it's like. So. And um, in my situation, my son wasn't diagnosed. Um, he was about three to six months when I started noticing things were wrong with him. Right. And I told his pediatrician, they said, oh, he's a boy. He's just slow. <laughs> I was like, okay. So I watched a little longer and we got to nine to 12 months and I was like, well, he's still not meeting this, this and this. You know, so sometimes in some cases, the parents are the one that find these right. things out. Mm -hmm. And you know, you try to believe your doctor, but you know, yeah. we have that sixth sense that says something Mama is knows. wrong. Yeah, yeah. Mama and knows. I pushed and I that's pushed true. and you know, that's when I you know, started finding out different resources. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't until I got a, with a group of special needs parents where you know, I heard that same story time and time again, where if their children weren't diagnosed at birth, it was things that they did and they started pushing. Mm -hmm. So it's nice to be in an organization and around people that understand you and don't think that you're just that crazy right. mom. Right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, so, absolutely. That's great. And we, you know, just a little bit about us. We re we live real lives too. So it's not mm -hmm. it's not like we're only, you know, special needs moms. We also right. um I'm a nurse practitioner. Um, so I work full time and my daughter Nadia is in high school, so we have band and you know, um, my son is in different things out here in Douglasville. There's a dance class and right. uh, Special Olympics, Bali, Bali, <laughs> some, some kind of ball, <laughs> bocce ball, bocce ball. Bocce ball. Yes. Bocce. Yes. <laughs> they have different things, so we like to do those. Um, we also have a Facebook group for our, um, for our our Focus uh, West Georgia group. What's, sure group. How would they look that up? It's uh, Focus West Georgia um, Share Group, Focus West Georgia Share Group. Um, okay. Now, for the privacy of our families and of our kids and stuff like that, we do have it set up where you have to come to a Focus meeting first, mm -hmm. um, one of our Share Group meetings, yep. and sign up with the parent intake form on the website um, before we add you to the group, and that's just to make sure, you know, we're not getting any just random person mm -hmm. wanting right. to sign up on the group, because right. there's a lot of weirdos ugliness yeah. on Facebook sometimes. <laughs> there's yes. a lot of weirdos so, I yeah. mean so we have that and then I have a um, special needs moms of Atlanta group that I do you don't have to be part of focus um, to be part of that group but I do like to tell people a lot about focus to kind of push you in that direction right. because you get so many resources there as well right so yeah, and it, it is. It's a busy. It's a busy life. <laughs> um, yeah. I have, like I was saying, a seven-year-old Jacob who's invo involved in just about every sport. Um, Luke um, does also some sports. He's done soccer and baseball. There's a special needs baseball group that we're a part of. It's the um, Union Rec, a league of their own. Mm -hmm. And in no, it's in Temple. Temple at the Union in Rec. 
and um, and I'm a Mary Kay consultant. My husband works for Lowe's, and he works way out in Lithonia. So Ooh. you know, a lot of times I feel like um, you know, <laughs> a single mom, and, and the fact that he you know he he works long hours, and yeah. so um, you know, it's 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 a busy it's a busy life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like special needs doesn't define your life, but it is a part of your story. Yeah, absolutely. It's a big component. It, it changes you, it changes your life, but um, once you find that normal, it changes you for the better. And mm -hmm. once you find that clan, your group, the people you can go to, it definitely makes your life so much better. I mm -hmm. had um, a surgical procedure not long ago, and you know they brought me food. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, I was like, oh wow. That's your family. You know, they brought food to feed the kids, mm -hmm. and you know they checked up on me. So just having that family, and you know having people you can really, really depend on, mm -hmm. is so important. And that's really what focus is about when mm -hmm. it's all said and done. A nice support group. Right. And, you know, we are just like any other family in the fact that we do want to get out and do social events and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, and so this is this is a nice way for us to be able to get out with other moms and, and get that socialization that a lot of times, you know, we don't we don't get. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. That's great. Yeah. Well, I think we are about ready. The gravy is uh, nice and gravy fied. <laughs> It's thick and smelling and looking good. So mm -hmm. when we come back, we're going to have all the food out ready to taste. Yum. Our That's our favorite. Part. Oh, yes, absolutely. <laughs> we'll be right back. We're putting that gravy on. Yeah. We're ready to go. <laughs> Ready to go. This looks, looks so nice good. and pretty. Mm -hmm. Now, with the quinoa, you really want to do it fresh, you know, off the stove, but, you know, we had to wait a little bit, but you can grate a little bit of Parmesan cheese on there. And fresh Parmesan. Yeah. There you go, if you guys want to as well. Yeah. Not necessary, but hey, why not? Am I doing this yeah. right? Yeah. I buy the pre-grated Parmesan. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. It's like when you're at Olive Garden. Yes. Cheese? Duh. Yeah, it's tell like, me I when. Cheese on everything. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah, keep tell going. Me keep going. All right. Six days later. <laughs> All right. Let us try this. What do you want to try first? I want to try the quinoa first. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Make sure to get a mushroom and some mm -hmm. cheese. That's yep. yummy. Tasty. Mm-hmm. Not like my quinoa. <laughs> <laughs> That's going on the repertoire. That's yes, going to be, absolutely. Uh, served, I need the recipe. Served at my house many times mm. from Very here good. on out. All right, she's going in for that chicken fried yeah. chicken. All right. Got to taste that too, right? Yep. All right. She's beating us. Yeah. Mm. It's a win. Mm. Mm -hmm. Really good. Mm -hmm. And you can add whatever seasoning you want to the flour. Mm -hmm. You know, you may decide, hey, I want this to be really spicy. Mm -hmm. Throw it in there. Some more cayenne pepper. Mm. Whatever you want it to taste like, that's what you put in there. Yeah, this is really good. good. Yes, good job, delicious. guys. Thank you. Great. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Now, I know there's some other things that you want to talk about, some statistics mm -hmm. and that type of thing, so fill us in. Yeah, I just wanted to give you a few um, statistics on Focus and Fragile Kids and how many kids that they actually help out in the area, mm -hmm. just so that people get an idea of, you know, that when you do a donation or somebody sponsors an event or something like that, your money really is getting good it put is. to good use. Right. Um, there are an estimated 13,000 children in Georgia that are medically fragile. Mm -hmm. um, they're men medically stable enough where they can be home, right. but they require a lot of um, therapies or medical equipment at home mm -hmm. or just extra care. 
And let me pause you there. Medically fragile, and for people that may not know, those are typically children. They may have tube feedings, IV. Mm -hmm. They may be total care, wheelchair bound, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. incontinent, which means they, you know, they're in diapers, even right. as adult, up right. to adulthood. Um, you know, they require a lot of care, nursing, skilled mm -hmm. nursing. It's very, very difficult to take care of a medically fragile child mm -hmm. at home. Mm -hmm. You know, when we say special needs kids, because we kind of use both of those where it's more that's more geared towards our mild to moderate children mm -hmm. they may be in school and active and doing different things but they don't require all the extra needs They're so not, medically fragile is a little more severe it's, yeah it's more intensive. of the severe right. cases heart mm -hmm. problems monitors right wires coming out yeah. of everywhere. Right, yeah. right, exactly. Um, and a lot of the equipment that is required for these kids is not typically covered by insurance, which you would think that it would be, yeah. but a lot of times yeah. it is or, not. Or your You're, co -pay is mm -hmm. ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. And so that's where um, Fragile Kids comes in, and um, they provide approximately um, 200000 worth $200,000 worth of product or equipment to over 60 children per year. Wow. So mm -hmm. you think of that number, 200,000 for 60 children. Yeah. That's a lot. A money lot. Per yeah. Kid. yeah, exactly. And um, Focus itself um, reaches more than 4,000 families in the metro Atlanta area. Wow. So, yeah, so there there is a lot of... And getting um, larger every day, I'm yeah. sure. Every day, <laughs> every day, yeah. So there is a lot of families that are being um, affected and touched by anybody that does a donation or a sponsorship or anything mm -hmm. like that or grants that are provided. It, it only it, takes money, right? Yep. Right. And <laughs> share, 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 because we want to add an extra 200 in the plus in the West Georgia area so we can get more services out yep. here. Yep. Yeah. So if you can't do anything at all, at least you can do is share yes. and tell people about Focus. Share this video, do what you can to get involved with your community because that's what this show is all about. This is Serving's Kitchen with a Cause and we want to thank you so much for being on the thank show. And good luck with Focus. I hope it, it gets so big you have to hire tons and tons of people. <laughs> thank okay. you. Yes, absolutely. Thank, thank you. you so much for having us. We appreciate yes. it. Thank all right. Thank you. And we'll see you next month on Serving's Kitchen with a Cause. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>